Yo guys, what is up? This is Cheese. Welcome to this brand new video here on this channel. Today I'm going to show you guys the streaming settings on OBS. Uh, straightforward, so I already made a video about this. Uh, it was last year. The video had a lot of views, a lot of likes. Like you guys can see as well, the quality is good and I know what I'm doing. Uh, there are some few adjustments that I made compared to last year. So make sure to watch the video entirely. If you do have questions for me, leave them down below in the comments and have fun watching. We're going to talk about, we're going to dive into the settings, which are the important thing for live streaming. So once you open that up, you will see general stream, output, audio, video, hotkeys, advanced. We're going to dive in video because first off, I want my video settings to be correct. Um, I have my video settings correct right here. I've got them on 920 by 1080, which means full HD 1080 is full HD um, you can also put this to 720 this is what a lot of streamers do but my PC can handle this combined the thing is you can stream full HD or 720 you can both do that but you gotta look at the frame rate like most games you play are in 60 frames per second FPS so the common FPS value for me my stream is 60 you can put this on 30, but every second you will have 30 frames per second and not 60, which 60 makes the video, the game you're streaming, for example, a game, makes it much smoother. It makes it really smooth. And that's actually what you want. You want to create that. Not every PC can actually handle uh, 60 frames per second plus the full HD and that's why a lot of people go for like I want the 60 frames per second but my PC just can't handle full HD we're going back to 720 you can do that I'm doing it like this um, because my PC can actually handle that um, we got downscale filter this is just to make the video the full HD or the 720 look so much sharper I've got it on uh, thir uh, 32 sharp than scaling uh this makes the full hd almost looks freaking full 4k it's like that that's that sharp that's what i want to create that effect um, this is everything you need to know about what is going on with the video okay now we're at the output settings like how do you want to uh deliver how do you want to deliver the video this is what this is about so first off you go to output mode I always put it on advanced. You have more things to use. If you put it on simple, uh, you, you just don't have this much options. So you have to put it on advanced. Uh, audio track, I always have it on one. If I stream, I got audio track on one. You can put more audio tracks on. For example, if you're like recording, for, for me, I would do this with recordings. I would like record my gameplay audio and my microphone audio separately so I can both edit these separately like i can put my equalizer on the on my microphone audio without even touching the gameplay audio and that's why that's how i would do that but for streaming i'm gonna just leave it like that there's no reason for me at least to get more audio tracks on the live stream uh, the encoder is the graphics card the video card you are going to use uh, i'm actually using my uh, 1070 ti from phoenix uh, you can just select it over here it helps you so much if you got a video card otherwise you have to run everything on your uh, processor and uh, that is not going to end up uh, very well I would say um, then you also have rescale output you can have 1080 in your video but you can also just rescale it back to 720 I think it looks sharper I have no clue why you would do that or maybe your platform can't really handle it where you're streaming to, but I'm always going video 1080 and also the reskill output to 1080. So at the end, YouTube, in my in my uh, example, YouTube is always receiving the 1080 uh, from me. So the bit rate. In my last video, I found out that you didn't have to put this on VBR. I actually did this because uh, YouTube was getting less information from you when the connection was low. And when you make it VBR, the stream just continued and the viewers actually didn't get the buffer. But it seems that YouTube doesn't want this at all. They want you to use CBR so it renders 
the the quality uh, like instantly in a linear line. And I didn't know that I had no clue. So I, after a lot of research, I found that that you guys should definitely go with CBR and not with VBR. So last year I thought it was VBR. This year I'm saying you got to go with CBR and I actually already explained why. So that is also a different thing compared to last year. Uh, the bitrate is actually how much information are you going to send? I don't know that much about live streaming and about bit rates, but I do know how you select it. And that is, uh, I got some information on the screen for you guys right now, what you should do um, streaming your video to, for example, Twitch or YouTube. Um, you have to test this out for yourself. You just gotta like stream and uh, change it all the time until it looks until it looks good, until your internet and your game can handle it at the same time and stuff like that. Like if OBS can handle it, if your PC can handle this, you can put it high up. I got it at 5,500. Believe me, this is pretty big. This is pretty high for a, a live stream. You're sending lots of information, but you still wanna, for example, play Fortnite live. So you have to connect to Fortnite, to the Fortnite servers and you're connecting to the YouTube or the Twitch servers. So you have to do these things at the same time so you can't put it too high up because it will mess up and uh, you can't send that much information at the same time. I hope I just explained this in a good way to you guys. Uh, if I didn't, I'm sorry, but this is all I can tell about this. So with the bit rate, you always have to check what your internet connection is and how do you do that you just go to google and you type in speed test there's so many different sites where you can check out what your connection is uh, i'm using this one right here i click on go and first off it shows you your download speed you see my my download speed is pretty high up it's almost on 400 megabytes per second wow this thing is so good what's up it's actually not about your download speed it's all about your upload speed and your ping your ping has to be as low as possible and your upload speed has to be as high as possible so if you get a low upload speed you can't really stream with a lot of bit rates you really have to have a, a high upload speed i've got 40 megabytes per second which i'm really proud of because that is really really high for an upload speed and it's also really expensive so I don't know too much about these settings, but I also think those are not too important. I think this is default, but I'm not sure. But you, you should put your B frames on uh, on two. Um, and uh, now I'm going to show you guys the very, very last thing, which is stream. The thing you have to select above here, streaming services to stream to a streaming service. Uh, then you can select different services like Twitch, YouTube, Smashcast, Mixer, Mixer, Daily Motion, Facebook Live, Restream.io, Live Edu TV. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> and Twitter. I didn't we can just live stream to Twitter from OBS. But you got so many different platforms. There are more of them that you can see in here. There, there are way more. But uh, I'm gonna just stream to YouTube slash YouTube gaming. That's where I'm streaming to. Now you've got the streaming key, huh? What is a streaming key? It's actually not really hard. If you go to YouTube for this time, you just go to your YouTube live stream. You go to, yeah, blah, 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 blah live streaming, uh, now live streaming, and you go all the way down here. It would just say stream name slash stream key. This is, if you click on view right here, this shows you the key, you can copy it and paste it into uh, into your OBS. Never show this key to anyone. If any, if someone has your key, it's it's really annoying because I if I have your key, I don't need your YouTube password, Twitch password. I just put in the key and start streaming on your account. So this is really dangerous. Never click on show while you're streaming. Never give the key to anyone you don't trust at all. Basically, don't give the key to anyone. You can't trust anyone, so don't do it. Uh, so the key is really important. Uh, nobody has, nobody needs that key. Only you need need that key. Uh, you can also change this key uh, whenever you want. So so it's not one like someone else has the key. Uh, you're uh, basically screwed. You can never change the key anymore. Just click. You go to face. You go to YouTube right here. You go to view and you go to change. And I'm not, not viewing anything, but uh, that's actually how it works. So once you have everything correct, you don't really have to look at the settings anymore. Only the bitrate speed is really important because if your PC like handles it, oh, this is great. And one week later, your internet connection is a little bit less good. 
uh, it can just mess it up, you know? You gotta like check out the bitrate a couple of times a week when you're live streaming and uh, that's basically how this all works. So uh, we've, we've done this all. The only thing we have to do is click on the start streaming button. Uh, you don't really have to click on that button specifically. You can also go to advanced, oh no, to hotkeys I mean and you can actually get your own uh, hotkeys. For for example, you you have OBS on the left side and you don't wanna go out of your game with the mouse, the cursor out of your game, click it. You just go, um, I've got it on start streaming, is Ctrl Alt Shift O, Ctrl Alt Shift O. If I click these buttons, click all four of them, then I actually go live. I have this for recording as well. Um, I just find it easy and uh, you guys should do with it whatever you want to do. So uh, if you guys really liked this video and found it interesting, um, if I helped you out, let me know in the comments down below, in the description. Uh, I'll have some videos up for you guys um, uh, for more explanation about OBS. If you guys really like it, if I helped you out, give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. Guys, we're still growing really fast. I'm really enjoying YouTube, my YouTube career so far. We're growing fast, we're having fun, and uh, I'm learning you guys so, so, so many things. There was Cheese, I will check you guys out in the next video here on this channel. There was Cheese, peace.